Hi everyone, welcome to Kairos House. Today we're going to be looking at this Xtools torque wrench set. Hi, let's get into this torque wrench set. So, uh, made by Xtools, I bought it from Wiggle, not sponsored by them. That's where, as you know, I get a lot of my stuff from. Uh, 23 pounds 32 it was um, one of the most useful bits of kit when you're doing up all your nuts bolts things like that especially uh, on a carbon bike you don't want to crack it it comes with all these different bits it's a quarter inch driver it's got an extension bar for the hard to reach places torque range of 2 to 24 as you can see there just a quick look around the box um, nothing exciting there. So, cover off and we'll get into it. So, up close, again, it just uh, tells you what's in the box there. It's got a nice little metal latch, tells you to push it up, so we will. And there it is. So, first off, we've got this bag of stuff. Let's have a look at that. As I can't get it open like normal. Chop that away. It's not very big. It basically just tells you what's in it. Oh, prior to the first use, set the torque to two newton meters and tilt the head of the wrench from side to side 20 times. Okay, so that's what you gotta do. Make sure you do that. Uh, blah, 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 tighten it till it clicks. And some other stuff there, which you could have read there. So, okay, so what we got in the box? We've got a T20 bit there, T30, T25. We've got a 10 mil, an 8 mil, a 6 mil, 5, 4, and 3. We've got a 5 mil extension piece, and then we've got the torque wrench itself. Okay, so let's take it out. Um, okay, it's got a little, it only wiggles one way, the torque's on zero at the moment, I haven't lubricated it, I will do when I, before I use it. Um, obviously we've got uh, different ways, you can lever it, so that twists this way, and it twists that way, okay. So we've got an extension bar to fit things. You just push this button and they fit on and they lock to take them off, put them off. This uh, raises, that button just raises that pin and allows the ball bearing to uh, move in there. That allows you to put things on. So that is a five mil bit on an extension bar. These fit in here. That's a 10 mil bit. Yeah. It says they're all they're all. Uh, let me see if I can get that. 10. HW10. So um, we've got all different bits inside here. It's quite useful. I don't know what I'm supposed to go in there. It's probably just for the molding or something. There's a code number. There's nothing underneath. Um, so to do the torque up, you just twist the handle and up it comes. I'm just going to uh, set it in case I break it. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I've tilted it from side to side 20 times. Okay, so it's on two, so when I put pressure on it, it releases. If I do it up to four and a bit, that's a bit harder to snap, but it still works. And you can put it all the way up to 24. Uh, it's obviously in Newton meters, you store it at zero, so right down. 
as we look around it, it's got a QC uh, sticker on there, which is flapping, so I'm just going to take it off, chuck that away. It's got a little clip to keep the head in. Mix tools, um, I don't know what this rubber bit is, maybe for some lubrication or something. Um, so yeah, that is pretty cool. It's a pretty useful tool. It's not that heavy. We're going to wear it shortly. Um, but really good, really useful for putting on stems, seat clamps. Yeah. Any bolt really. You don't over tighten it. Crack your carbon. That'll be the end of you. It'll just fail. So uh, made in Taiwan, it looks like. Fantastic. Okay, back with the scales, they're all uh, in grams. So let's see if we can stand it up right in the middle. It is 363 grams. Not that that's important because it's not going on your bike, but for those of you who like to know the weight of everything, that is 363. And the 10mm bit weighs 24 grams. I'm not going to weigh them all. It's not very heavy. The three mil is 15. So what I'm going to do is put it all back in the box and we're just going to weigh the whole thing because we like to weigh things. I don't know why I'm weighing a torque wrench but someone will say oh you didn't weigh it. It's 692 with the with the uh, pack with it all packed up. So get one of these. They're very useful. Putting the instructions back in because I need to remember to do that two newton meters thing if I haven't used it for a while. Um, make sure you get one. Don't try and just do things up as tight as you think they should. Everything is um, got a newton meter um, tightness setting on it on a carbon bike anyway, especially handlebar stem clamps, you know, uh, uh, steerer tube expander bolts, things like that, cranks, pedals, they've all got newton meter um, torque settings on them. So get one. This one I like because it's like a twist, uh, it's easy to set up, it's easy to read, I like it and um, I think you should get one too. So that's it for this episode of Cairo's House. Quick little look around the torque wrench, the X-Tools torque wrench set which I'm going to put this back on because I can. Make sure you get one, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you on the next Kairos House. Take care, bye!